500. The Matildas are a step closer to qualifying for the Rio Olympics following their 3-1 win over, to, over Japan. To discuss that game, we're joined by former Matilda and Fox Sports commentator Amy Duggan. G'day, Amy. Good morning. It is a, certainly a very good morning today with that big win over Japan. A goal early to Devana. How important was it for the Matildas to play from the front and, I guess, believe in themselves? They had so much belief coming into this, and it's a fantastic start to the Olympic qualification tournament. Lisa Devana getting that goal early on put the Matildas in front, and I think from there they were always going to be tough to reel back. They started off a little shaky the first 20 minutes of the game. We saw a lot of chances to Japan and a few shaky moments in goals, but once we got the, uh, the first goal in the back of the net, it was all forward movement from there. An absolutely fantastic game to watch last night. That was a brilliant goal, but geez, they got a bit of luck for their second one, didn't they? A nice little assess assist from the referee. We often see the referee assisting in goals, perhaps not in a positive sense like this one. Um, look, it was lucky, but we still had work to do. Michelle Heyman made a fantastic run for Lisa there. She drew in three players, slotted a little ball, and how about that for cool, calm composure in front of goals, just rounding the keeper and slotting it away. It's a massive win for them given I guess they were rolled out of the last World Cup by this same Japanese side and this Japanese side went on to play in the World Cup final. Well that's the thing to remember, these guys are the silver medalists from the last Olympic Games. They went through, they were the team that knocked Australia out of the World Cup last year, went on to the grand final and of course didn't win it at the World Cup, the World Cup final, but they're up there. They've, they've been a, a top team for the past five or six years and we've just rolled them 3-1. It's like a dream come true. I can't remember the last time that Australia beat a world championship team like this on their home soil. You've just emphasised how big a win this is. How hard will it be for the coach Alan Stadgitz to try and keep a <laughs> lid on things? Because surely you're up and about after uh, a win like that. You couldn't ask for a better start to a tournament like this. Five games in ten days, that's intense enough. They are going to have to draw all the experience, all the depth across all of their team. And you'll probably see that in their next game. But as far as a confidence booster goes, as far as getting the points on the board and on the ladder right now, because you must remember only the top two teams qualify from this tournament. Um, Vietnam next start but um, I tell you what after this and these goals and how about this our two smallest players on the field scoring headers. Yeah beautiful finish there lovely header just right into that bottom corner. Um, you touched on the fact they've got Vietnam next you mentioned off air to me the last time they played them they beat them 11 zip surely yeah. it'll have to be a calamity not to have a similar result this time around. Yeah you don't ever like to think anything's a walk in the park but this should be a guaranteed three points if they play anything like they played last night the Matildas should be able to take the three points away from this. Don't be surprised if we see a fair few of our Matilda stars rested for this match um, and also a bit of a change perhaps not in the structure itself but certainly in the, in the players there. As we said five games in ten days you need to rely on the depth in your squad and this is a game to do that. It may also be an opportunity to blood players, young players like young Ellie Carpenter, 15 years old or 16 years old, into the Matilda squad. Just briefly as we wrap up you must feel pretty confident about the chances of qualification for the Olympics. Right Absolutely now. I think this was the hardest game they were going to face straight up. The two tail ends are their toughest games. Hard game straight up. It was really going to set the bar for how they we're going to go in this tournament. They've come out there, all guns blazing, a fantastic attacking, um, fantastic play, very cool and calm and collected in the middle, controlled everything really well and if uh, that continues I think we're looking at a top two sport and qualification for Rio. Amy, thanks so much. Enjoy the game against Vietnam. Thanks, I will.